Hello, today I'm reviewing this dress. As always, if you like this video and would like to see more, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So this dress is the New Look 6013, which I fortunately had two copies of, so I cut direct from the pattern pieces for a change. Normally I trace all my patterns just in case I want to make a different size for someone else or it goes horribly wrong and I need to cut it in a different size. I just find it's really handy to safeguard your patterns that way. Obviously it does take a lot more time to do that so it really does depend how much time you've got. So this dress is a view D on the pattern which is the dress. Um, so in this pattern you can also make a jacket or blazer um, there are different variations on that actually, you can always make a sort of waistcoat. Um, there are some trousers as well which you can create. So for this pattern I made the size 14. The fabric I've used is from Pound Fabrics. I bought it a couple of years ago so <laughs> I'm not completely sure on the content, I'm not sure it was actually advertised there, um, but I'm pretty sure it's a polyester and it's quite lightweight and drapey. So it's really nice for a dress but I wasn't too sure because of how lightweight it was and also the how how opaque it was so what I did do was I got some ivory anti-static lining from a much more local shop to me, Truro Fabrics um, so I have lined it with that which should hopefully stop it from catching or riding up obviously there is a risk with polyester that it will become quite static so hopefully that additional layer will support it and also make sure that you know it's definitely opaque. So this fabric was fairly challenging to work with, I did have to be quite careful, I think the first bits of stitching such as the darts I did tack those but then I got a bit more reckless near the end and didn't really care. In terms of difficulty I think this is quite a beginner friendly project, you can obviously make it more challenging, I think adding a lining like I did definitely levels it up significantly. If you used a much more stable fabric than I did that would make it easier. I think the fabric choice and the fact that I chose to line it made it a much more challenging make for me personally and it has taken me quite a while to complete it. But saying that I think that the fact that it's got raglan sleeves is probably quite good for a beginner. It's a lot easier to fit raglan sleeves than it is to fit in set-in sleeves. You don't have to worry about easing into the shoulder. Moving on to the design and fit, the reason I chose this pattern is because I really do like raglan sleeves. I think it's quite a nice classic style so it's got bust darts here but it's also got um, darts below as well on the waist and it's got darts at the back so it shapes nicely but it's quite it, um, it's quite um, a loose fit on me anyway. Um, it's got a reasonable amount of ease but obviously you could adjust that if you'd prefer a more fitted garment. So I didn't adjust the length of this dress however I think I probably did lose a bit of length when um, I got my partner to help me level up the hem before I hemmed it. I'd say it sits pretty much dead on um, knee level for me which I quite like because I don't like wearing really short dresses so this is a suitable length for me. So just to show a bit, um, this top stitching is optional so you don't need to add that. I did add it mainly because I forgot to um, stitch the under stitching and I was worried about the facing peeping out so I thought the best thing to do would be um, to add that top stitching which I think is about maybe two centimeters away from the edge. It does add a fairly nice detail but I don't think necessarily this fabric needed it. So the way I lined it, I've actually lined everything so I've lined the sleeves as well. I did get really confused and the reason I probably left it for about a month or so is because I couldn't work out how to um, line the sleeves and hem the sleeve part and attach it all together. Now I look back, I can't actually remember how I did this even though I only did this a week ago, this part of the pattern. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I got stalled on this section and after leaving it for quite a number of weeks I then went back to it and then managed to do what I was trying to avoid um, which was twist it so that you couldn't then turn it right side out. So I ended up doing that so I had to unpick it anyway <laughs> and then I worked out how to line it properly. So I have actually, I've understitched the uh, the sleeve hem, so I did stitch the sleeve pieces together at the hem um, at the point in the instructions as advised to hem it. 
but then I did manage to still stitch um, the sleeves onto the main piece of the lining and the main fabric pieces um, to the main fabric sleeve pieces, if that makes sense. Essentially, I found lining the dress very confusing. I'm glad I've done it because I think I'm gonna wear it a lot more because I won't get frustrated with it um, going all staticky, but it was very confusing and I did find that that held me up quite a long in the process, which brings me on quite nicely to time taken. So I started this in February and I finished it um, today, so that's about mid-June. So it's taken me quite a long time to get it done. Obviously I did get stalled and I wasn't too sure what I was doing at one point, so that held me up quite a lot. I think if you made it in a much more stable fabric and you didn't have to line it, you could definitely do it in a weekend. I know some people are super quick sewers, they could probably do it in a day. But I think using a much more interesting fabric like this, where it does move around quite a lot, and if you're not used to lining dresses and you want to fully line it like I have, it could take you a bit longer. Saying that, it probably wouldn't take me as long as it has this time. Now that I've muddled my way through once, even though I can't quite remember how I managed to <laughs> and finish off the lining, I'm sure I could do it a lot quicker next time. Another thing that I did, which I wish I hadn't, was that I machine stitched the lining and facing while attaching the zip to the main bit of the fabric. So in the pattern you use an ordinary zip and it's meant to be a lap zip at the back and I don't know if you can tell but I put an invisible zip in. So the invisible zip I felt was a lot easier to insert than a lap zip because I was getting really confused on the instructions. They have a fairly decent chunk of instructions for the zip but there's only a couple of diagrams and I was getting really confused so in the end I thought I'm gonna cut my losses, I, I can't be dealing with this and I think I could have done it if I hadn't added a lining but because I needed to add the lining bit and I really couldn't work out how to incorporate that with the lap zip I thought Going to be easier to add an invisible zip. So what I do wish I had done differently, I don't regret the invisible zip, I think it suits this dress quite well anyway, more than potentially a lap zip would have. It's particularly with this fabric, I think it might have, the fabric might have dragged quite a lot when I stitched it in place, but I do wish I'd hand stitched the lining and the facing, because at the top where I've got the um, facing stitched in on the zip is just a bit too close to the teeth. So. It does go up fine, but it is a bit of a challenge to draw it up. It always kind of stops and goes whoa, and you have to carefully then nudge it along to zip right up to the top. I mean, at least it still works and I didn't have to unpick it, but in a way, I probably should have unpicked it and done it again, just because it would be so much easier to zip up and down. So overall, I do recommend this pattern. I really like it. I think it's a nice uh, classic dress. The neckline's quite nice as well. I think that's fairly flattering. I think I would potentially make this again. I'm not sure I'll make it anytime soon. Um, I'd be quite interested to try it with a slightly easier fabric. Maybe a, a linen blend might be quite nice. But yeah, for now I'm looking forward to wearing this out a bit and seeing how much I like it. But I think next time I make it, I may double check the fit at the front because I'm not sure um, the darts are in the right place. Or I might need to take it in slightly, I think, at the middle. Which obviously by the time I realized, it was too late to do it on this one. Um, it's obviously something I'd have to adjust at the cutting stage. But also I think possibly with a different fabric it wouldn't be an issue. I think it might just be because this fabric's so drapey that might have been an issue with it. But yeah, overall I'm happy with it and I think I will get some good use out of it. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching.